I pick up a new painting guide, I check for five things. Are the photos clear? Check. Are the photos taken from a useful angle? Check. Is the text nice and clear? Check. Are the colour guides easy to follow? Check. Does the book sit nice and flat on your modelling table? Um, OK, well, moving swiftly on from this last point. This softback 158-page painting guide is the second in a series published by Pen and Sword and written by Andy Singleton, with the promise of more to come. Let's begin flipping through the pages. The introduction tells us about author Andy's background and what the book contains, i.e. a specific painting guide to four of the different nations involved in the Desert War of World War II. We then begin on part one basics, in which Andy tells us about the different methods miniatures can be made from and the tools of the trade, like knives, glues and paints. It's clear from this first section of the book that the author has a clear and easy style of writing. He knows what he's talking about and conveys it well. It's so easy to read in fact that you forget about the annoying style over substance way in which the text on every page is aligned to the centre gutter. Different well-known techniques are also covered in this first section, like dry brushing and layering. We then move on to boot camp, in which prepping figures ready for the paint to be applied is covered. Again, useful stuff and well written. The first of our guides begins on page 37, and following a brief introduction we are into a conscript level guide to painting the British and Commonwealth, or at least a sample of a peri miniature desert rat from that army. All of the guides are divided into conscript, regular and elite. In other words, basic, standard and advanced level. So for each model covered, you can follow one of three guides. Depending on your ability or time constraints. And produce a finished figure to differing standards. This seems like a neat idea and helps to sell the progressive, you can keep coming back to it, nature of the book. Beyond the Perry British 8th Army Rifleman, we have an Italian Bersaglieri veteran infantryman by Warlord Games and a Warlord US Rifleman, before we switch scales to a 20mm Africa Corps soldier from the Plastic Soldier Company. All these figures are dealt with in a similar way, and if we linger on some of the pages for a while, you will get the general idea. After each of the nation guides, we get a general look at camouflage uniforms, which again Andy shows us how to paint in three different standards. We have a lovely clear basing guide at the back of the book, something the author considers the single most crucial step of the entire process of painting a figure, before concluding with a list of manufacturers of desert war figures. There's clearly no better way to review a painting guide than by following the instructions therein and producing a coloured in figure. That's something we've not done in this video, so I will reserve judgement in the form of a review of painting Wargames figures World War II in the desert, and just say that as you can see from this flip through, it's a well written, well photographed book, and as we don't need to worry about the economics of producing a book for a niche within a niche, i.e. World War II desert war painters, I will conclude by saying, if you are looking to paint desert rats, Africa Corps, plus Americans or Italians in North Africa, you can't go far wrong with this book. This video has been brought to you by WI Prime, Wargames Illustrated Magazine's online members club. View more videos or find out more about WI Prime by following these links.